couldn't do things that I wanted to do with the children. It was getting ridiculous to the point where I would stay in the car if we were somewhere like Clent Hills for a walk. Initially it was a, a fear of dogs and a fear of swimming, swimming pools. Not Seeing a dog on the street or a park, a complete state of panic. Get really hot, sweaty, just find an escape route. Couldn't be around the, the area where there was a dog, so that stopped me from going to parks, stopped me from doing normal you know, walks with the kids, just the normal things. I wouldn't go into the pool, go into the water. If I did, it would be just to paddle, you know, my legs in, and that was it. Once I feel like the water was taking over, the state of panic again, the fear just doing the normal day-to-day -day things and I had to do something about it and also I didn't have the right person I hadn't heard about anybody that I was quite comfortable with. Daughter was getting a little bit um, she didn't wasn't as comfortable in the water and saying I don't want to swim um, I didn't want to pass my fear on to them um, they saw it as mommy just doesn't go in the water but they were disappointed because I can't play the games with them and do the fun things that probably other mothers get to do. I wasn't completely 100% it was going to work because I actually did see somebody a few years back um, and I didn't feel that there was any change in the way things happened but with David I think he does more of the CBT as well. David, I realised the fears were actually more deep-rooted. They came from somewhere else, um, it was anxiety. Um, there's been a lot of um, upheaval in my life, probably the best way to say it, in the last 17 years. And I think David made me realise that that anxiety came from somewhere completely different. Um, I, was, uh, I was abandoned or disowned by my parents when I was 18 years old. Um, so my children have never met my family, had no contact with them, um, and but ultimately you're made to be shunned, uh, people point the finger, people have an opinion on you, um, and I think I allowed that to make continue and make bad choices, I, I didn't make good choices from that because I sat there and piled everything on top of each other, the guilt, the shunning, people pointing the finger, and uh, uh, and made bad choices, made bad decisions, and ultimately passing them on to my children. Just meeting David and having um, the session with him, realised that I need a lot more calm in my life, and I need to stop feeling guilty about a lot of the mistakes I've made. And I think from that, it, it, he made me realise that that I I could deal with. I dealt with a lot, I could deal with the future, I could deal with a lot more things confidently and since I've had the session I've, I've still had the same issues, I've still had the same problems uh, but I've been able to deal with them in a much better, calmer way. Now I've actually gone and booked some adult one-to-one -one swimming lessons so I'd be going in and giving that a shot and I've actually booked a holiday as well with the children so Hopefully that all works well together and I'll be able to enjoy the water with the children for once. I've taken the kids to the park, which is something that I wouldn't do and I was quite comfortable doing that. What I would tell myself is not to feel so guilty, um, that you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't need to carry that guilt through the last 17 years. Um, it, just, it just wasn't your fault. Ultimately I'm doing it to make me a better parent, this is to help me with my issues but I would love to just help other people and let them know that it's not their fault, that they can actually, there is help out there and it doesn't make them a bad person and just that they've, they can move on, they can move on and have successful lives and have happier lives. <laughs>